I'm joined by Andrew Omabama Delhi. It's your first um, full game in a while now. Uh, how are you feeling after that? I feel good, tired, you know. Uh, it's been about three months. Uh, but I needed it, you know, full game. Um, just get the cobwebs off, go back into forest now and just keep fighting for my place. How has it been? Obviously, all you've known since you've gone to England has been Norwich. You've moved to Nottingham Forest now. You know, we know how big of a club they are, but to go there and, you know, get yourself in and amongst it now, do you feel like maybe the 90 minutes today will help you maybe claim a, a place in the squad now or in the starting 11 going forward? Yeah, definitely. I think it's all building blocks, you know. Um, like you said, I've been at Norwich for a long time, but it's what I wanted. Um, I wanted wanted to change, I wanted to challenge myself and I wanted to test myself and I'm, I'm being tested at the moment so it's up to me to find the answers for that um, which I'm trying to do, I can only control what I can control which is training every day, putting 100% in, making sure I'm performing at a level at training, you know. Um, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy at the moment at, at, at Forest, obviously the next step for me is to be playing regularly because I don't, uh, the, the word patient gets thrown around a lot in regards to me with game time and stuff like that. Um, I don't think it's, it's a good trait to have as a footballer. I feel like you you need to be always wanting more. You always want to be playing more minutes, uh, finding the next level, whatever whatever that might be, you know? So, um, yeah, like I said, at the moment, just controlling what I can control. You spoke there just, you know, about being patient. Probably that actually was the case at Norwich and then you took your chance and you've done so well then you kind of became a mainstay. Then obviously you went up, you've had a taste of the Premier League now. That's something obviously you wanted to, to get back now this season. Obviously, I know you haven't played so far, but obviously that's your ambition, I would say. Yeah, 100%. Um, obviously, I made five or six appearances with Norwich and just the level. It's the best league in the world. Uh, it's what it's what, every footballer, what, what every footballer wants to play in that league, you know. Um, and that's that's my goal, ultimately, is to be an established Premier League footballer, you know. Um, and yeah, that's that's another reason why I went to Forest. Um, but yeah, it's football's not easy. You don't just get gifts, you don't just get handouts. You need to work for it. Um, so yeah, no, that's what that's what I'm trying my best to do at the moment. Just obviously on tonight, it's good to be back in the Aviva. I know the the crowd wasn't amazing in terms of a sellout or anything like that, but for you, just to be back out on the pitch now and back playing for your country, that obviously is a great honour for yourself. And seeing someone like James McLean go out on so many caps as he has, and probably someone who you look up to. Yeah, I mean, it's inspiring to anyone, you know, to have over 100 caps for your country and to kind of wear it the way he does, if that makes sense. He's so he's so prideful about being Irish. And the first time I came in, it was it, was, it took me back, you know, like how much it meant to him and that it kind of makes it register in your brain how much it, it is to play for your country. Um, so yeah, no, it's, it's, it's inspiring for any, any Irish person, you know, especially the lads that are putting on the jersey. Um, but yeah, with the, with the minutes today, I'm, I'm happy I got them, I needed it, you know. Um, but yeah, overall, it's, it's the game really was, it was difficult. They were decent side, they pressed us well. Um, we knew they were going to be good, it wasn't going to be a, an easy game, but yeah, no, I'm happy with it. That I had a good game, you know, against a good team. And just uh, just on Stephen Kenny, I looked. There's a lot of speculation. Will he? Won't he stay? I'm not really going to go into that, but just in terms of how has he been for you? Um, you know, in terms of your Irish career so far and and everything he's done for you so far. I mean, he's he's been amazing. You know, um, I feel like he's the real reason or the real kickstart of the, the, my career. Obviously, he gave me the debut at Portugal. I feel like that really lit a fire under under me going forward, and stuff kind of fell in place from there. And he continues to show me faith, obviously, the Serbia game and stuff back to back. Um, and it takes a lot to do that, you know. It's a, it's a highly pressurised industry and situation to manage to manage Ireland. So to give to give me a, a, um, that kind of faith that me being a younger age is, is massive. And it's kind of, a, yeah, it's obviously, it's just, I can't, don't really have words for it, you know. He's been absolutely massive for me. And obviously, the couple of months I had, I haven't been, getting as much minutes as I wanted. It would be easy for him to kind of bring players in that I've been playing, which I would understand. But he hasn't. He's, he's continued to pick me in the squads and stuff, so I'm, I'm always in depth of him for that. Um, but yeah, overall, he's been absolutely amazing and real, real pillar in my international career. Yeah. Well, listen, I don't want to keep you any longer. Go on, enjoy your family, right? Appreciate Good to that. see you. you too.